Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the SGA mod. So, do you notice anything different about me? Anything standing out? Aside from my pretty typical, usual, insane good looks, you notice anything else special? Something perhaps I may be holding in my hands? Oh, that's right, your eyes do not deceive you. I am holding a mini shark. My dreams have come true. I am now the proud odor of a rifle, a shotgun, and a machine gun. We are ready to commence with some serious ranger murdering. Which, thank goodness, because that's pretty much all that's on the agenda for today. So, what I did, obviously some stuff off camera there. I got myself a mini shark, but the main thing that I did was I went and tracked down these other two Caliburn altars. Or dank shrines, I suppose. So this one down here is the one we were at originally. But the one I found first right here is only a few hop skips and a jump away from the surface. So for some reason, I guess I went to the wrong one. I should have went to this one first. But yeah, I, I guess that completely flies in the face of what I said in the last episode, which my assumption was that it got pushed way down below because of where the corruption spawned. I was wrong. It has no issue spawning practically right inside of it. The dankness will go where the dankness will go, I suppose. But speaking of dankness, before we go and deal with all that, I want to show you this new armor set that I finally got. I mentioned this at the end of the last video. Dank wood set, I finally went down and got it. I got myself the dank cores. It says they drop from these mud mummies here, but I got them from crates from fishing down there because there are little pools, as you can see. Um, if you go and look here, little areas down there like that, you can go fishing in them and it spawns a lot of crates. It's like 99% of what shows up down there. So I got that stuff, got all this armor right here, the, the wood, I suppose. I'm not sure exactly how, whatever Novite is, some kind of metal, I guess this wood is a little bit more dangerous. Pretty tough wood, you know what I'm saying? Some hard wood. Okay, I'm done, I'm sorry. Anyways, everything seems pretty typical about this. Some unique stats there, crit chance, item use rate, life regen, uh, faster acceleration, all that good stuff. Dot resistance is a little bit different, but that's fine, no complaints there. The set bonus, at least the first half of it, is what I'm kind of confused about. So it says 10% of the sum of all damage types is added to your current weapon attack. The other half, you regen life faster on the surface during the daytime. I understand that. 10% of the sum of all types is added to your current weapon's attack. I don't really know what that means. It doesn't really seem like it makes much of a difference in terms of overall stats, whether I take the armor off or not. I mean, it looks like there's a, a couple of changes, but I think that's just the regular stats that you get from the set, so... I don't really know what that means, but good, I suppose. Um, so the main thing that we're gonna do right now with all of our newfound power here is go and deal with the other two Guardians of Caliburn. I was told that they don't just upgrade the sword that you have, although it does say that uh, you get a damage increase per spirit defeated. It actually, I think, gives you different variations of the sword that have like different effects and whatnot, so that's pretty cool. So I can like pick and choose which one I wanna use and whether or not I wanna use certain ones at all. You know, it might be fun, it might be a fun time. I'm not really sure if the damage scales. I think it does get harder as we go. So that's definitely something to be on the lookout for there. Hopefully I don't absolutely get obliterated by this guy. Let me remember where I'm actually going here. Okay, we're good. Next corruption over. Wrong hole. I gotta go in a different hole. The hole I need is down here. We're gonna run in here. We're gonna deal with this guy, at least if we can. And if not, we're gonna go deal with the Eater of Worlds. He's our main target right now. I wanna take that guy down as quick, fast, and in a hurry as possible. Also, it's a full moon, it looks like, because I'm getting a whole bunch of deathweed here. That's really nice. All right, here we go. We're just about at our entrance for this new dank altar. I will say that on the inside, it pretty much looks the exact same. There's not a whole lot of difference other than like just the general layout, the structure, if you will. Looks a little bit different, but beyond that, it's the same on the inside. All the loot is the same. The blocks are the same. The mobs are the same. Only thing that's different is the placement of the altar and like I said, the general layout here. All right, so what I want to do is kind of make a little bit of an arena down here, just in case this is a little bit more challenging. I will grab all this stuff and try to adjust as necessary. Plus, I don't want to die of ridiculous amounts of fall damage. That would just not be a fun time for anybody, so I want to deal with that. Oh yeah, nice wide open pit over here. This looks right for fall damage. Look at that guy. He's getting in there on that action there. That skeleton knows how to party. He says, I ain't scared of no fall damage. I'm already dead. What's the harm of dying a second time? Can't get any more dead than dead. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. That ought to do her just fine. Okay. So I've got a whole bunch of potions here. I got a Fury Potion, which is one of those new ones that we discovered in the last video there, made out of, I think it's, what is it? The uh, dank seeds from down here, some death weed. Nice and powerful. Increased crit chance, which is always good. 
So let's uh, deal with all these things here, clear it out as best I can, and then commence with the murdering. All right, here we go. Let's give her a shot. All right, there's the spirit of Calburn. Uh, let's use the machine gun here, or maybe the uh, the boomstick ought to be better. Using the boomer. Ah, no, machine gun it is. All right, we got it. We got it here. He's throwing rocks at me. Those do not look like something I'd want to get hit by. It looks like very uncomfortable experience there. Ah, God, so there's a dash. Only does 10 damage. I imagine the rocks are a lot more unpleasant. Come on now. He's got a lot more health, I think, doesn't he? It seems like he's taking a lot longer to kill. Not taking a whole bunch of damage, though, so what is that? What is, what is this ability right here? I don't like this at all one bit. What is this? I don't know what that was, but it did something. Ah, God, what was that? A trap? I thought I got rid of them all. Oh, my goodness, I've been cursed. Come on, come on, come on. What is this? What, what is the swirls here? Are oh, you throwing rocks at me? Okay, that's okay. You Thank God you're susceptible to knockback and just keep hitting you and hammering you in here with the, uh, the old machine gun. Not really doing a pile of damage, like I said before there, but that's all right. It's actually a relatively challenging boss fight here. It's okay, though. We're getting there. We're making some headway. Uh, for some reason, my dashes and whatnot are a little bit sticky this time. There we go. Now throw rocks at me. That'd be the best thing for you to do right now. That would definitely be an attack that I certainly wouldn't want to have happen to me and definitely wouldn't open you up to attacks. Ha ha ha! There we go. How do you like that? Sybarite Gem. Okay, that's a new one. Um, okay. And Caliber and C Trophy. So this is C. This is the uh, C lister right here. Let's see if you're worthy. Turns out I am. A second time over. Okay. So we got another one. One of the Lost Swords. So this one creates spectral copies of the sword. This one flings crystal shards from the blade. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, my God. That is going to just completely decimate the Eater of Worlds. I already know. What is this thing right here? Sybarite Gem. We got that. Let's head on back to safety real quick. Hello, Helen. Oh, yeah, nice to see you. Throwing a party for me? Please, everybody, keep it to yourself, you know? You don't have to do all that. Although, you know, you can continue if you want. I won't complain about it. So anyways, this Sybarite Gem. Apply Midas to yourself for five seconds while at full health. Grants 50% increased apocalyptical strength while affected with Midas. Scoring an apocalyptical creates a coin explosion. The amount is based off of their worth times damage divided by max health times apocalyptical strength. Oh, my God, it's Terraria Calculus. Eternally priceless. People would pay a lot for this, even their own lives. Wow, okay. I don't know if this is like a super rare item or not, but it seems pretty nice. Corporate Epiphany. Wow, look at all that. There's a whole lot of stuff going on there. I need 10 platinum. Oh my god, I gotta do some farming this time. Okay, well, uh, sure, we'll throw that on there. Uh, swap that out for the gun barrel. Apply Midas to myself. So I drop money on death. 50% increase apocalyptical strength. I have some items that are reforged to have that on there. Disordered, I made these lightning boots earlier because, you know, I, like I said, I was able to craft an aglet out of wooden crates. 0.25% apocalyptical chance. Melee apocalyptical chance. And an apocalyptical is when you're crit crits, resulting in three times damage. So, okay, um, good to know, I suppose. Uh, we could experiment with that, play around with her a little bit. Could be a fun time, I suppose. But all that aside, I suppose we can head on over here and deal with this last one, which is uh, a bit of a travel to get down to. Got to go for a bit of a walk here. I'm trying to remember exactly how to get down to it. I think I made myself a path that kind of stands out a little bit. I got to go through so many different caves. All right, we're going to go down here. We're going to deal with this last guy, and then we will move on from there. Okay, finally. I only had to go through about five different biomes up there. The ice biome, mushroom biomes, and it's smack dab right in the middle of a spider cave. So that's just delightful. But uh, we're finally down here again. I cannot for the life of me remember where the thing's at. I know it's, yeah, right down here at the bottom. The very, very bottom. So this time I'm actually going to make for certain that there is nothing to get myself killed by. Lovely to see that there's lava down here and spiders spawning. That may end up being a problem. Well, I suppose we'll do the same thing over here and just make a little bit of an arena and then deal with them real quick. Hopefully it's not too much of a challenge, just like the last one. It was a little tough, but uh, not impossible. Okay, I think this is about as good as I can make it right now. There's a lot of mobs down there, but I think I'm going to try to keep them over here. So hopefully I won't actually have to deal with any of those guys down there. There's a good possibility, though. There is definitely a chance that I could get myrtilated by something down here. But we're going to try to avoid that as best as possible. And after this, we will have all the Caliburn Guardians defeated. Okay, you are getting a little bit close for comfort there. You look a lot more powerful than you were before. Why are you doing this? What's with all the uh, the juice here? Oh my god, wow, that is so much damage. Whoa! Whoa, buddy, when, what was that? I think that was that, that Sybil uh, whatever thing there. Ah, god, let me go. Oh, that was bad. That was so bad. Oh. <laughs> okay, good. That's good. Thank you so much for that. Um, yeah. I got absolutely obliterated by that guy. I'm getting hit for like half my health there. 
This guy's hitting me like he's a hard mode mob. Maybe might possibly not quite be able to deal with that guy right now, which uh, is not so great, but we'll come back to that. I mean, technically, according to this, I should be able to take him down, no problem. Evidently not. Okay, so, um, I can go down there and give it another try, but if I get absolutely obliterated again, I'm probably just gonna skip over him, just go deal with the Eater of Worlds, get some armor from that, and then come back, try it again. Hey, would you look at that? No-Eyed Wily down here, the Bone Merchant. I haven't seen him in a while. What do we got here? Oh, a whole bunch of new stuff. Okay. Uh, a couple of things here. I've got, like, no gold to buy it, but all right. Rusted Bulwark, I've got one of those before. We got Snake Eyes, all crit chances reduced by 10% every non-crit increases damage by 1% up to 100. Getting a crit resets the bonus, I think it said there. Dax at 1% chance to false crit, also resetting the bonus. Okay, well I need this anyway. That sounds interesting. Could be valuable for the mini shark there, that might make that pretty good. We might throw that on. And Russian Roulette, ammo using weapons damage increased by 100% 100% for revolvers. A sixth chance of shooting yourself instead. That sounds like a whole bunch of fun. Well, I'm not really worried about that right now. Let's, uh, okay, let's give it a try. Let's buff up. Big damage, come on, big damage here. No eyed Wily, why don't you help me murder this guy, would you? Not doing any damage to him, false crit. That's nice, I love that so much. Okay, come on, get up here, big damage, big damage. Big damage, not really, no damage at all, to be honest with you, but it's okay though, we're working on it. Actually, I have to kind of focus a little bit here. This guy went from being a pushover to a boss. He's a boss now. Oh god, what was that? Things in my way, hello. All right, Empress of Light, watch out. God, I hate traps so much. I could live my life without ever getting hit trap again. Okay, here we go, we're throwing rocks again. This is probably by far his most useless ability, but it's okay. It gives me a lot of chance to line up some good shots here. All right, come on now, settle down. Settle her on down, that's enough of you. It's all right though, we're making some progress. What is that thing? When did that trap show up? Why are there so many traps? God. I am so upset about that. Why are there traps here? All right, go on the other side. I know there's no traps there. Not a lot of space either, but it's okay. Okay, that's right. Throw the rocks at me. Throw the rocks. Let's rock and roll. Come on, get out of my way. Let's get out of my way. All right, we're going to do this game again, are we? That's fine. Stand there one spot. Oh, we took him down. All righty, we're good. Oh, my God. I was very concerned there. Why are there so many traps? See, like, spawning traps around me right now? Stop. I think it may actually be just spawning traps, because I swear there were not this many here before. I do not remember any of them. Okay, but we're good though. We got it taken care of. A third caliber and Guardian has been defeated. That was a pretty tough challenge there. I don't know. I can't really tell if the uh, snake eyes actually worked or not. Seems like it. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Look down a cave bat there. We got all three of the trophies, A, B, and C, and we have defeated the last of it. So what do we got here? This caliber, and it looks like it does the most damage out of all of them. Summons a spectral blade to home in on your mouse cursor for a few seconds or until it hits three times, then it returns to you. You can only summon one sword at a time and does not hit while returning. What do we got right here? Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that. Nice. So I've got kind of like a magic missile, but it's a sword. That could be very exciting. Look at that. That is so much damage. What damage there? Look at that. Okay. I love it. I do. I like this so much. Take that spiders. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right, let's run back and absolutely obliterate the Eater of Worlds. I imagine I'm not gonna have any trouble with him at all whatsoever. Deposit all this stuff back in there. I don't really know which caliber and thing I want to use here. I was all set on being a ranger. Now look at me. I got three different kinds of guns and three different kinds of the same sword. I like it. Um, let's try... Wait, which one was it here? I can't remember which caliber it is. I think this is the one we want to use. Pretty much infinite penetration there in 30 gold. Okay, I just realized I got that there. That's nice. I was just about ready to start complaining about not uh, having any money. Actually, before I run away, do I have any bombs? No. Well, I suppose since I'm back here, I guess there's no harm in trying to reforge one of these things. Let's use the one that I'm actually going to use. See if I can get legendary out of that. That'd be so sweet. Can I do it? Oh my god. Best I can do is deadly, I guess. All that money just gone. Okay, well, that's fine. All right, let's uh, just go right here. This looks like a good spot to give this a try. If I can get away from all these guys, oh my god. Brought the whole party with you, did ya? Okay, now let's just blow a hole here. I am not gonna take this seriously at all, and that's probably gonna end up being my downfall. We're gonna give it a try. I don't imagine I'm gonna have any trouble with this guy. Sometimes on occasion the brain gives me a headache, but besides that, no pun intended, by the way. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, this is not going to be an issue at all. Okay, come on, bring it on, come back. Yeah, just come on over here. Okay, there we go, yep, all right. Yeah, this is exactly about how I thought it was gonna go. Oh yeah, apocalyptical. This is exactly how I thought it was gonna go. And it looks like another meteorite landed, and I think that means there's two of them sitting around out there right now, which is great. All right, what do we get there? Worm scarf and shadow scale, nothing new. Okay, well, 
that was definitely a complete and total pushover. That's pretty much, like I said, exactly how I thought it was going to go. Let's just break a few more of these while we're over here. Get all the good loots. There we go. Kill him again. Yep, come on over. Yeah, you're very scary. Yep, very, very scary. Oh my goodness, you're oh so terrifying. Oh yeah. That is so satisfying whenever that happens. I'm going to take more damage from drowning than I am from dealing with this guy. How does that make you feel? Water's more dangerous. I'm actually immune to the drowning because I'm healing too fast for the drowning to do any damage to me, which I think is absolutely hilarious. All right, we're good here. Get me out of this water before I actually die. Shadow War, we already got that on there. Eh, let's just keep the murder train going, huh? Yeah, that sounds like fun. And we splatter him again. There we go. Look at that. Big damage. Big damage. Yep, come on over. That's right. Swirl around me all you want. Won't make a difference at all whatsoever. This is how you really play the game right here. This is the expertise farm. Oh, yeah. Got a Terraria Co. Supply Crate again. I've gotten a few of those since I've started murdering everything. I think the chance to get them goes up the more you farm these uh, harder and harder enemies, I think. Either that or it's just completely and totally randomized and I'm just getting some really weird luck, which is definitely a possibility as well. Oh, is it time for another one already? Okay, hold on a second. Come on over here. Oh, that'll never not be satisfying. Listen to how heavy that sounds. That's a big old clunk right there. That's the real bonk. The apocalyptic bonk. Eater World's mask. I think that's a very fitting thing to wear right now. I've conquered him. I'm gonna wear his face now. I'm gonna start hanging out with his friends and start spending time with his family. I'm just gonna completely take over the Eater World's life. It's like a reverse skinwalker, except I kill the monster and become the monster. I think that's very fitting. Sounds like my kind of life. Oh my goodness, another one already. Oh, don't mind if I do. Haha, <laughs> look at that slight turn to the left. Completely avoided it. Oh yeah, look at that. This is just the meat hole right here. There we go. The meat hole. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Sounds disgusting. I love it. And there's another one down. And there's another Eater of Worlds down. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. Nice to meet you. Shame you couldn't hang around longer. Okay, I think that's probably about enough murder into that guy right there. I think we've pretty thoroughly annihilated him. So let's throw that stuff in there. See what all we can make here. Probably lots of good stuff now, I imagine. Lots and lots of demonite. Oh, yeah. There we go. Just make a big old pile of it. Do I need the ore for anything before I go running around doing this crim tain? I suppose maybe there's crimson stuff too I could probably make if I really wanted to. Okay, let's see what all we can make now. So, a white's bane, we already got that. I know we need... Where is it at here? The uh, tools. There we go. We need nightmare pickaxe. We will get that. Platinum one, I have to save it for the excavator as soon as I get the reverse engineering station. Anything else good? We're definitely going to throw on the shadow set if I'm going to be using that uh, Caliburn weapon there. There we go. Nice and juicy. Some proper defense as well. This is very weak. Is that really it, though? Is there really nothing else that I can make? Well, I can make Novus bars. When did I grab this stuff? Must have done that at some point. Okay, sure. Why not? We'll grab a few of those. Is that valuable for anything? Probably not anymore. I might have missed the uh, missed my opportunity for that there. I oh, know there is actually a set. Looks pretty decent. Not a whole lot of defense, and the tools kind of look like gold quality. Definitely not as good as what I've got right now. It's a nice looking sword though. Galactic Inferno that I can get later on down the line, so sure, we'll make that. There we go, rap fire swinger there, very good. There's a bow as well. I can make the Delta Wing. Looks like something I can get to start a hard mode. I may grab that too just because, okay, well that's the end of that. Are we sure there's nothing else that I can make out of demon? I can make a demon altar. Add a demon altar, I may need to do that. Thank you, Fargo's. High noon there. Damage increase during the day, base damage increase reaches its peak, a 10% increase damage at noon, additional 6% bullage damage at noon. So, at noon, literally at high noon, I do more damage. I just need sunglasses, so I actually have to track down some of that stuff. Okay, sure, why not? I can upgrade a revolver if I can actually get one from, where does it come from anyway? Traveling merchant? Okay, well, good thing I can just cram him into my inventory and magically make him into whatever I want, so we'll deal with that later, though. For now, I think we've definitely accomplished quite a good bit. We took down the last Caliburn Guardians and destroyed the Eater of Worlds. Next, we're going to be looking for the Spider Queen. Hopefully, uh, let me check and see if there's not like a compass or something. This guy may sell it, help me find it. Well, there is a new item, but it's nothing for the Spider Queen. Steals items off the ground and teleports them to the player. Yes, it also steals hearts. Gotta put that joke in here, of course. Oh, it's is it a yo-yo? Strange either way, though. But all right, with that done, like I said, I think I'm gonna call it an episode here, guys. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.